Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. Anyone who studies horizons with an open mind and a scientific approach can, in fact, see for themselves that horizons have nothing to do with any alleged curvature, but they do, in fact, show us how perspective works, and they also show us how our perceptions have been twisted to make us believe that perspective is an imaginary curve on the Earth. This is a screenshot from a video which is claiming we can see the effects of Earth's curvature because we have a ship in the distance that is only partially visible as the bottom half is below the horizon. But this is easily debunked and shown to be just a result of perspective when we look across a flat yet rugged surface. This footage was apparently taken using a P900, which has a very good zoom lens, and we can see immediately that this is a shot that is zooming in on very distant ships. We just get more clarity of what is actually going on at the horizon when we zoom in to this extent. It is a fact of the human eye perspective that when we look straight ahead across a flat surface, we will see the surface and the sky appear to meet in the middle of our field of view, the eye level or vanishing line. This is where the horizon is for any observer looking directly ahead across a flat surface, high or low above that surface. So if we have a line here representing the eye level of the camera or the observer, we can tell immediately that although they were low to the surface, they, the camera was angling upwards because the horizon is not at the eye level. In this shot where the photographer has gone to the bow of the ship to see the more distant ship coming past on the other side, we can see that they are at more or less eye level. And this also gives us an indication of just how low to the surface the photographer is because they are looking pretty much at the lower part of the bow of that ship in the foreground. And just by using our own senses and comparing that with our own experiences, we can see that the more distant ship does not appear to be going down some kind of smooth curve of the surface. It appears to be down in a trough just beyond the boat in the foreground. This is simply an optical illusion of perspective. Because we are low to the surface, the horizon comes up close. The horizon is created by the last wave that we can see, or waves that we can see in the distance, before the waves beyond those become obscured and blocked off by those waves in the foreground, simply because of the laws of perspective. Again, it has to be pointed out that these are the kind of optical effects we get when we look across a flat yet rugged surface, whether it is water that has movement of waves on top of it, or the surface of a road which is naturally bumpy, it has dips and troughs, but nothing to the extent which creates this illusion of curvature. This footage was taken at ground level on a flat and straight road, and we can see the exact same effects as we did with the ships. Vehicles that come past the camera are close, and then they hit that close horizon and go beyond it, appearing to go below it. But we can see from other elements in the frame that we are just looking at the results of perspective. For example, we can see those street lamps appearing to taper down towards the horizon. This is an indication to us that we know we are looking across a flat surface, but our perspective makes everything converge at the vanishing line at eye level. When we compare this road footage with the images of the ships in front of and behind the horizon, we can see exactly the same thing happening here with the vehicles on the road. The truck was in front of the horizon when it was close and then went beyond the horizon and now appears to be being swallowed up or going under the horizon from the bottom up. And this is exactly the same effect that we have with the image of the ship in the distance but the same thing happens across a flat, rugged surface when we have a low perspective. 
We can see the same effect here in this footage of runners in the distance whose legs appear to have been cut off by the horizon, which is close because we are at ground level. And we can see as a car comes up, it will come over the horizon and we can see all of the car. But we, if you look to the side, you can also see this tapering effect that we are getting with that fence and how there is this definite line of convergence above what appears to be this hard line across the surface. And we can see that there are several horizons depending on the conditions of the surface and how high above it we are. So these dips, these troughs, are created as an optical illusion, just as we see that ship appearing to be in some kind of trough. This is the optical effect that's actually happening. It's nothing to do with any physical curvature. And as you saw that dog walk across in front, it appeared to be on the horizon because we were so close. And as the runners come closer, they appear to come over the horizon and we can see their feet as well, while the people behind them still appear to have their legs cut off by the surface rising up to eye level from this low perspective, giving us a close horizon. So when people show us images like this with the claim that the ship is beyond the horizon because of the Earth's curvature, we know that actually the shot was taken from a very low perspective above the surface and that they are zooming in as far as they can on their very close horizon because they are so low to the surface. Thank you very much.